What's going on everybody? Dangerous Thing here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to an episode where I am going to absolutely destroy my base and rebuild it from zero because in the past what I've been doing, I've been moving a few things here and there and trying to arrange them so that they will make most sense depending on what level I am, what defense I'm upgrading and whatnot. But today I am starting over. Brand new, clean start. You guys are going to witness a speed build of my HQ19 base and a few of you guys Guys commented below my last night's video where I asked you for suggestions on whether or not I should go with corner base, center base, you know, shore base, random base, or anything else. And a few of you guys had commented in the pot, um, in the video. And uh, I know Kenny, you have been telling me to check out Nick's speed builds for a long time now. So guess, guys, what I've been doing this morning? I have been watching a few videos that Nick put out, um, you know, a little bit ago because he's obviously a bit more advanced than I am by now. So H. HQ20 video and HQ19 video. Uh, I actually watched HQ19 video from Reversal. So those were, you know, from a while back, but I watched them and I think I have a general idea and an inspiration of what I want my base to be like. So I'm gonna sign off and start building it and I will check in with you guys in just a few when the base has undergone a complete facelift. See you soon. Alright you guys, so the speed build is finally completed. It only took me like uh, about 11 minutes. I was a little bit slow, but I was trying to be super methodical. So look down on the screen and take a look at the picture that I took of Nick's speed build um, from his previous video for HQ20. I'm HQ19, but that's okay. Uh, so I just sort of try to modify that a little bit and use it to the best of my abilities based on what I currently have on my base. And so when Nick recorded that video, that was actually before the prototype lab was released and before we had prototypes. So you will not see them on the base. Therefore, I made a few adjustments to my base layout and this is what I came up with. So let's take a look and see what you guys think. And obviously about a week from now, I will report and show you the log of replays of my base attacks and whether or not it helped me to be a bit more successful in defending my base because you know that in the past I have been taken out like super super easily by you know not even maxed out players uh, well I guess I wouldn't be taken out by maxed out players because I wouldn't be on their base because I am not a maxed out player so what I mean is that I have been taken out by people like this guy here who has 400 VPs and only level 42 42 that's outrageous I am currently level 48 and I got taken out by a guy who is level 42. So yeah, basically this was, this rebuild was very necessary and way overdue. I should have done it a long time ago, but now that it's done, I am really gonna do a little A-B testing, A being what we had before and B being after the rebuild, or we should switch A as in after and B as in before. Who cares? I'm gonna check it out and see whether or not the changes of the layout actually made a difference to my win to lose ratio when it comes to being raided and attacked by players. So I hope you enjoy this video. I, um, I'm gonna leave my base on your screen for a minute longer so you can kind of take a look and digest and see what has been done, um, you know, and, and for what reason. But I think it's really, um, yeah, I think it's really self-explanatory. I had, you know, limited number of defenses to work with. I think I have 33 defenses in my base right now. 33 or 34, I can't quite remember at level, at HQ19 what we have. Um, but including a prototype, I believe I was at 33. So basically I just try to spread out my rocket launchers uh, behind the, um, 
behind the HQ because usually those get taken out super easily in the beginning and uh, you know people either shock them or in my case I always brush them so if these get brushed um, at least the uh, boom cannons are not too too close I mean they obviously are gonna get hit up but I don't think the brush is gonna be able to take out both so hopefully that's gonna work out to my advantage and then I have shock blaster sitting kind of in the middle you know has a really nice radius of um, around all of the economy buildings and other defense buildings and um, then I have a shock blaster shock launcher sitting kind of to the right of it because if we were standing at the HQ looking at the beach that would be right but um, yeah um, so basically this is my current layout I cannot wait to upgrade to uh, HQ to level 20 I obviously need that another shock launcher really really desperately because you know people can um, worry rush me they can get through my base with tanks and medics super easily which is I feel like I feel like Tanks and Medics has been the most popular combo in the last couple of weeks and this is what I've been losing um, most to so I really really need to upgrade my HQ to level 20 but before that comes I need to prioritize and of course first upgrade my armory and my landing craft so um, as they say the room was not built overnight or I don't know if they say that or maybe it's just I say that so I have to be patient I cannot wait to get through all of these upgrades but one step at a time you guys so I hope you guys enjoy this video uh, if you have any comments about the layout and if you think some of the things need to be modified and swapped around let me know in comments below you know I'm always open to feedback and a week from now I am gonna report to you and let you know whether or not the change in the layout helped me in defending my base more effectively and if it did then I'm gonna send a huge thank you to Nick at Nick at Night so I'll see you guys soon and don't forget to check in in just a few hours for an amazing overview of the most recent operation which may just be one of the coolest OPs my task force has ever completed or at least is trying to complete at the moment. I'll see you guys soon. Until then, I am out.